In this little video, I'm going to show you how you can add a shadow to your character that you've animated in Cartoon Animator, and you're going to add the shadow in After Effects. And we're going to get it from Cartoon Animator to After Effects via the plugin. So, the first thing we want to do is go and get an actor, and we'll get one of the actors that come with Cartoon Animator. We'll go for the side profile. We'll drop it in here. There you go. And then we want to add an animation. So go to animation. We'll, again, we'll go to one of the defaults. So we'll get the default walk. Drag and drop that onto our character. We'll do this a couple of times. So we get a longer walk cycle. There you go. Just have a little look of it. There you go. And yeah, it's a very good walk cycle. That's very quick to do as well. So now we've done that, we want to go up to Render, Export to After Effects, and it's at 100%, it's at HD, you can change it to 4K if you want to, then click on Export, make a new folder, and then there you go. What it's doing now is it's rendering out the sequence as an image sequence with a JSON file, and the JSON file is what you're going to be bringing into After Effects. If you've got audio and background images and things like that, it will also export those in their separate folders. And again, they'll all be brought into After Effects. Um, but for this, we're just really doing the character image sequence. So that's rendering out now. There you go. And next thing we'll do is we'll add that into After Effects. Okay then, so now we've rendered out our character in Cartoon Animator, we want to bring it inside After Effects. So open up After Effects, go to Windows at the top here, click on Cartoon Animator, which is the plugin. You want to go to Import Project, find your JSON file, click it, and then there you go. It's imported into After Effects, and that's brilliant. So you close that down, go inside the composition. Now that's your character. So let's label that character. Let's just get rid of these keyframes here, otherwise it might start sliding around. Okay then, so now we've done that, what you want to do is duplicate that to make your shadow. Let's call that shadow. I can never remember if it's 2Ds or 1D in shadow, so sorry if that's wrong. So now we've clicked on shadow, we want to make that black. So go to effects, oh sorry, let's go to layers, layer style, color overlay. It automatically makes it red, so let's make it black. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to twist it back so the shadow is on the floor. So we want to go to transform. We want to make the X rotation into minus until it looks about right. That'll do us. Now we want to twist it round. So let's just use the Z axis on that. So let's twist that around a bit. That's great. Brilliant. And what we'll do is we'll just move it down just a little bit. There you go. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to blur it because shadows are normally quite blurry. So go to Blur and Sharpen. Click on Gaussian Blur. Now slide that up quite a bit until it starts to go a bit out of focus, well, a bit blurry. That's great. And now what we want to do is, because shadows are quite see-through, let's just change it to 20%. There you go. And now, obviously, the shadow has to be under the character. So there you go. And there you are, you can fine tune it a little bit more to make it look like the feet are actually touching the floor properly. But hopefully, that will give you a good idea of how to create a shadow. So now what you want to do is go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And render it out. If you've liked this video, please click the like and subscribe button so you get updated as new videos are uploaded.